Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So, in our previous video, we have seen several architectures of Kafka consumer internals, and we came to this conclusion that this particular architecture with manual offset commit makes sure that only one time our message is going to be processed, whatever available in topic. And this architecture, how ensuring the exactly once processing? It is very simple that the only logic is as soon as a single message we are processing in the consumer side, we will be making a commit in our consumer offset topic, okay, which is basically an internal topic and managed by Kafka itself just to store the offset up to which the consumer has consumed the messages, right? So that next time if pull request happens, the Kafka broker will send only those messages which is having offset value greater than the latest committed offset, right? Now let's see this particular architecture in action using Python programming. Then we will be understanding all concepts in much better way, right? So here what is our first code? It is a very simple Python producer code which I have discussed several times in my previous videos. Just I am asynchronously sending messages and here I have given some sleep time so that I can show you what is happening, how the messages are flowing, how the consumers are consuming etc etc. Okay. And here I have created one consumer code which is consumer demo yt.py. Here you can see first I imported Kafka consumer and then here two more things we need to import. One is topic partition, one is offset and metadata. These two components are required for commit purpose. Okay. Now here what we are doing, as you can see, we are importing JSON because here in the producer side, we are going to publish JSON data. So we need JSON.dumps or JSON.loads for string to JSON or JSON to string conversion, etc. So we need to import JSON also. And then here we are creating our consumer. Okay. So if you see the architecture, as a first step, I told you that we need to instantiate our consumer where we need to mention what is the type of key deserializer, what is the type of value deserializer, what is the group ID, what is the type of auto offset reset we want to implement, whether that is latest or whether that is earliest, right? And in this case, obviously, we have to keep enable auto commit as false because here we are going to manually commit. We are not allowing Kafka to automatically commit the offset in the backend, right? So all those parameters here I have provided as you can see here I have given the topic name which is having name hello underscore world one. Here I am providing my bootstrap server which is our local server running in port 9092. Here in the value deserializer what I am doing suppose I am getting a byte data I am first decoding that okay. So that I will be getting this string from the bytes and then from that string I am converting that to JSON okay because that's how in producer side we are producing messages okay. And then here we are mentioning the group ID. And here you can see auto offset reset is configured as earliest. Okay, right. So auto offset reset earliest means what will happen and auto offset reset equal to latest means what will happen. All this I have discussed in my previous video. I will be providing the prerequisite links in the description box. Obviously, you can have a look. Okay, and one more property we have to put here and that is enable auto commit as false, right. So here I will make enable auto commit equal to false, right. Because we will do manually commit. Now here, this particular for loop is basically pulling infinite times to our Kafka broker. Each time broker will send some set of messages and using this for loop we can iterate. So here in our earlier video we just printed the message. Now this time here what I am doing, I am basically taking some important properties from the message and I am printing separately. Like what is the value part, what is the key part, what is the topic, what is the partition. What is the offset? What is the timestamp? All this information basically present in this message object. Okay, just in the properties I can extract. Okay, now to commit the offset up to which we have already processed. Okay, in our consumer offset topic, we need to use this particular property that is consumer which we have initiated here dot commit. Okay, and this commit takes two important parameters that I will explain. So to understand what are the important arguments required for commit, just you can do control and enter on commit. It will take you the commit function which is working in the backend. And as you can see here in the arguments, it is taking a dictionary kind of stuff where first one is topic partition and next one is offset and metadata. Okay. So what is topic partition and what is offset metadata if you want to understand? It is very simple. Just you can see here, here we have imported, just you can do a control key. Okay, and as soon as you do here, you can see the topic partition is basically taking topic and partition. Okay, 
So that's how we have configured here. TP equal to topic partition, message dot topic we are passing and then message dot partition. Okay. Another important property which our consumer dot commit is taking that is offset and metadata. So just to control click and here you will see the offset metadata is nothing but taking offset and metadata. So we are sending that way only. Here if you see that offset metadata we are calling current offset plus one is the first argument because when we are committing the offset in our consumer offset topic from then onwards the broker will send the message next time if we are polling okay so suppose currently i am in my third offset so what will happen i will commit offset 4 so that broker will understand that up to third offset it is processed so i need to send from the fourth offset okay so current message offset plus one i am doing for commit purpose that's all okay and then here we need to pass the timestamp because you can easily see here that in this truck here the, with the offset it is taking the metadata you can pass anything so like here i am passing the timestamp okay and then here we are committing okay simple based on the backend code only here we have written our code and then once we are committing our offset in consumer offset topic we are printing 100 times a star just to differentiate between different messages right that is a simple consumer and that's how you can implement exactly once processing because here this print statements you can consider as your processing engine okay so as soon as we are processing the message here we are committing that right that's what the exactly once processing says okay so here i will close all other codes and here i have written the same code in a separate python file that is consumer demo yt2 where basically the same code is written the only thing why i have created a separate file is i will spin up this particular python code and it will act like a new consumer which is pinned up in our same group basically group id for this consumer demo yt2 and this one consumer demo yt both the files are same so as if they will be behaving that consumer under same group and i will show you how the consumer group is behaving as soon as one consumer goes down or a new consumer spin up okay like that so i hope overall you understood what is the code doing now let's see this code in action right so as a first step what i will do i will go to terminal and then first i will start my zookeeper okay but before that let me show you this is a fresh kafka cluster because in the zookeeper logs currently nothing is there and even in server logs also it is perfectly empty so i just deleted all the earlier logs so that it will act like a fresh cluster okay so here in the first terminal here i started my zookeeper and then here you can see our zookeeper is running in default port 2181 which is perfect now i'll open another terminal and here i will start my kafka server okay so here my kafka server is starting which is the default port 9092 right so here you can see the broker is running in port 9092 now what i will do i will create a kafka topic having the name hello underscore world one because that's what we have used in our code also right and here we are keeping partition equal to two because with two consumers i will create a group and show you the demo so if a consumer group is having two consumer so basically two partition i can use for demonstration purpose right so that one each partition will be assigned to individual consumer under the same consumer group okay so here i will create the topic by opening the terminal in a new tab and here i will hit an enter so here you can see the topic is successfully created perfect right and if i go to logs here you can see in server logs here for the topic name hello underscore world one here partition 0 and partition 1 two folders are created right perfect now what i will do i will simply start my producer okay so here producer has started producing messages number 0 number 1 number 2 like that with two seconds sleep it will keep on publishing messages now here what i will do i will start my first consumer under this particular group okay so auto offset receipt equal to rds we have written so because this time within the group first time any consumer is getting spinned up and there is actually no committed offset so it will start from offset zero right so starting from number zero it will consume all the messages whatever our producer has published before any consumer spinned up right that's the beauty of auto offset reset equal to earliest so let's see that in action so i will start my uh, first consumer 
and here you can see if I go to the top here you can see it started consuming the messages number 4, number 5, number 6, number 8, number 10, number 12, number 13 obviously number 0, number 1 all things will be there just it is little bit jumbled number 0, number 1, number 2 like that and after it has consumed all the earlier published messages now it will be exactly in sync with our producer. Our producer is producing message 34, 35 as you can see here. Now it has produced 36, then 37. Our consumer will also consume the same like 37, 36 like that. Okay. So this consumer currently is the only consumer within our consumer group. Okay. That's why this consumer is consuming the messages from both partition 0 as well as partition 1. Like here you can see the number 43, this particular JSON was published in partition 1. So our consumer has consumed. Similarly, number 44, this value was published in partition 0. So the same consumer has consumed because currently within our group there is only one consumer. So it is only consuming the messages from both the partitions. Okay. Now what we will do? We will start our another consumer. Okay. Right. So here I started my another consumer. So here if I go back to my older consumer here you can see number 61 and then here it has taken 64 before that it was exactly in order 59 60 like that but after 61 it came to 64 why that means middle messages are consumed by this consumer so here you can see 62 63 are taken and then this consumer is consuming messages from partition 1 as you can see so internally kafka did the rebalancing of consumers and assigned to this particular newly spinned up consumer the partition 1 and that's why our this first consumer is now consuming only messages from partition 0 see all the messages it is taking from partition 0 only okay because our this consumer demo yt2 is consuming all the messages from partition 1 okay so that's why the work is distributed now suppose you are producing messages in a very high rate so if you keep more number of consumers within your consumer group then obviously in your consumer side it will scale up and obviously it can basically balance the speed of your production of messages okay now let's see what happens if our consumer one goes down okay so here you can see our consumer one currently consuming the messages from partition zero and our consumer two is consuming the messages from partition one right so what i will do i will basically stop this particular consumer and here in this side our consumers have consumed still now it is consuming messages from partition 1 only okay and here you can see last time the consumer demo yt has taken up to number 103 okay so number 104 is consumed by which consumer number 104 is consumed by this and here it is published in partition 1 okay so let's see that in this particular logs in this particular set after 103 whether any message was there or not so after 103 here you can see that 108 okay and then 109 110 all these messages are there which are published in partition 0 but our partition 0 consumer which is basically first consumer that is down so internally rebalancing happened and that's why this consumer only consuming the messages from partition 0 as well as partition 1 like here you can see number 108 is consumed by our second consumer okay like that now this particular consumer is consuming the messages from both partition 0 and partition 1 okay so here you can see it is consuming the message from partition 0 then here it is consuming the message from partition 1 okay now suppose i am making this particular consumer also down so up to number 147 the message is consumed and then there is no consumer currently running within our consumer group but our producer is not waiting right it is keep on producing messages okay now what we will do we will start our this second consumer and we will see what happens so ideally it should start consumption of messages from number 148 okay because of the beauty of consumer offset where it left after that only it will start so up to number 147 it consumed as soon as i will start it should start consuming the messages from 148 let's see if i go to the top here you can see number 149 it has consumed for 51 somewhere 148 will also be there just a little bit jumbled you can scroll down and check like here see number 148 is there okay so just 
obviously whatever messages was published earlier when all the consumers was down if you are spinning up new consumer obviously you cannot expect the message in exact order so it will be a little bit jumbled but all the messages are consumed okay now here this is the only consumer currently running in our consumer group so that's why it is consuming messages from both partition 1 as well as partition 0 right so now what i will do i will start my this particular consumer also okay so here you can see if i go completely below it has consumed up to 188 then 189 then here 190 here 191 let's see so here you can see that after 191 193 came so obviously this consumer has consumed 192 see this consumer has consumed 192 so basically internally rebalancing happened and eventually this consumer got the responsibility of consumption of messages from partition 0 and that's what it is doing here you can see all the messages are from partition 0 and this consumer which is consumer demo yt2 is consuming all the messages from partition 1 as simple as that okay so rebalancing happening whenever a new consumer is coming or a consumer is going down automatically kafka broker will do rebalancing and then the work will be distributed right and i hope you understood how to commit the offset in your consumer offset topic and eventually you can see in the server logs if you go here you can see consumer offset topic is also created and as i have repeatedly told you that it is having 50 partitions by default here you can see it is starting from partition 0 the folder name eventually it is going to 49 that is total 50 partitions are there for underscore underscore consumer underscore offset right as simple as that so i hope you understood the exactly once processing how to implement in python this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching